Do you ever wonder how a simple engine on wheels could be worth millions of dollars? Then take a look at the top 10 most expensive cars in the world in this video. Rolls-Royce Boattail If the design itself didn't take your breath away, then the jaw-dropping price certainly will. As a brand new car, nothing comes close to the Rolls-Royce Boattail. It's also unique in this company because it's a luxury model, not a car offering mind-bending speed and focused handling. The Boattail is inspired by ultra-luxury yachts from the 1920s and beyond with a bespoke body with a removable roof canopy, a new level of interior finish and what's known as a hosting suite, an opening rear deck containing a parasol, high-class outdoor seating and a champagne fridge. Three Rolls-Royce Boattails have been built in total, customised from the ground up by their well-heeled owners. The price? Rolls don't discuss the vulgar manner of money, but the estimate is anywhere from 22 to 25 million pounds each, making it by far and away the world's most expensive new car. It is truly a sight for the eyes and even more shocking is the price it's set at. Are you planning to buy one for yourself? That's what I thought too. Bugatti La Voiture Noire There's your common or garden Bugattis, and then there's the Bugatti La Voiture Noire. It's a true one-off, and while your bog-standard Chiron costs £2.5 million, including taxes, this costs well over four times that. It's the world's second most expensive car then. It's based on a Bugatti Chiron underneath. It's a homage to a special 1940 Type 57 Atlantic owned by Bugatti's founder's son, Jean Bugatti. It mysteriously vanished while traveling on a train from the Bugatti factory in Molsheim, France to Bordeaux. Do you imagine the La Voiture Noire is expensive? Apparently, Ralph Lauren turned down an offer of $100 million for his one of two Type 57 Atlantic. Anyway, the Bugatti La Voiture Noire is 450mm longer than a standard Chiron and tuned to be more of a Grand Tourer. Despite that, it still uses the same quad-turbo 8-litre W16 engine, putting out a little under 1500 psi, so it will still get a move on if you flex your right foot. It remains to be seen if Bugatti can find someone rich enough to commission another example. Bugatti Centodieci Compared to the La Voiture Noire, the Bugatti Centodieci is positively common. Bugatti has built only 10 units of the hypercar for the whole world, and one has been bought by the famous footballer Cristiano Ronaldo. Do you recognize some details of the Centodieci? That might be because you remember the last Bugatti to be built by the French maker before it was taken under the wing of Volkswagen. Called the EB110, it rivaled the McLaren F1 with a carbon fibre chassis, active aerodynamics and a 550 PS 3.5 litre quad turbo V12. The Bugatti Centodieci borrows the same aggressive front end and uses a similar mechanically adjustable rear wing as the EB110 Supersport, but it'll blow into next week with a massive 1,600 psi from a tuned version of the Chiron's 8-litre quad-turbo W16 engine. The car also celebrated the brand's 110th anniversary. The price, you wonder? About £9 million, inclusive of taxes. Bugatti Devo the concept of special Bugattis is quite clear. The more expensive they get, the fewer are built. The Devo is a mere 4.8 million pound, still making the standard Bugatti Chiron look cheap, and only 40 units were produced. In July 2021, the last of them was rolled off the production line and was given to its owner. Surprise, not really, the Bugatti Devo is based on a Chiron and uses that W16 engine again, but it's been designed as a much more track-focused sports car than a straight-line warrior, with all-new carbon fibre bodywork bringing down the weight, more downforce and a reduced top speed down to just 236 mile per hour. The standard Chiron will go faster still with its special top speed mode up to 261 mile per hour, but the Bugatti Devo will monster its sibling in the bends. It also gets a more menacing look to help it stand out, while there's a huge array of personalization options in this beast of a car. The price may be nothing compared to the La Voiture Noire, but it is still a whopping 5 million pound. Pagani Huayra Tricolor Breaking the Bugatti deadlock in this list is this stunning creation called the Pagani Huayra Roadster BC. It's an even faster and more exclusive version of an already fast and exclusive hypercar. When the regular Pagani Huayra was launched, it cost a trifling £800,000. But with all the bells and whistles, the Huayra Roadster BC is more than four times that. 
But why is it so expensive? Well, an awful lot has changed from when the standard Huayra arrived over a decade ago. As well as the removable roof and uprated bodywork, it gets a brand new, more powerful version of the 6-litre twin-turbo V12, taking power to 791 psi. Sounds tame next to the Bugattis. Remember the Huayra is rear-wheel drive and far lighter, with a special carbon composite body bringing weight down to 1250 kilograms, about the same as a Bogo-spec Volkswagen Golf. Boasting impressive body rigidity figures and a huge amount of downforce, only 40 units of the intricately detailed Pagani Huayra Roadster BC have been produced. Aston Martin Valkyrie The incredible F1-inspired Aston Martin Valkyrie is already one of the most extreme and expensive cars in the world. But it somehow wasn't enough for some, which is why the track-only Valkyrie AMR Pro exists. The crazy-looking Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro is essentially a V12 engine with a smattering of carbon bodywork draped around it. But the £3 million car does not possess any ordinary V12 engine. It's a Cosworth-developed, naturally aspirated screamer, developing over 1,000 psi and revving to 11,000 rpm. The top speed is 225 mile per hour. To turn your regular Valkyrie into an AMR Pro, Aston Martin reduces weight with even more carbon in the suspension and removal of the regular Valkyrie's hybrid system and Perspex windows. It also gets a longer wheelbase and dramatic wings and spoilers to produce twice the downforce of the standard Valkyrie. 75 units of the Aston Martin Valkyrie will have been produced by the end of the year, with some of those being AMR Pro models. First deliveries have already begun. Lamborghini Shan Roadster Lamborghini has also muscled in on the ultra-prestige market, clearly worried that the Aventador and Huracan are simply too attainable. The Lamborghini Shan Roadster is one of the most expensive Lambos ever produced. Estimated to be even pricier than the regular hardtop Shan, Lamborghini won't reveal the exact figure, the Shan Roadster is actually a hybrid car. It is apparently upwards of three million pound. It's hardly a Toyota Prius though, with 819 psi from a naturally aspirated 6.5 litre V12 and electric motor combination. Along with its typical Lambo-esque outlandish aero-boosting styling, the Xi'an Roadster has some interesting tech, including the use of a super capacitor, basically a super powerful battery, to fill in the acceleration gaps during gear changes and boost the performance. Even the Roadster version will do 0 to 62 mile per hour in 2.9 seconds and go on to 217 mile per hour. 19 units of the Xi'an Roadster were sold out before the car was even revealed to the public, each highly customized by Lamborghini's Ad Personum Personalization Department. Aston Martin Victor There are no others like this, even against the V12 Speedster, one of 88, the 177, limited to just 77 units, or the track-only Vulcan, of which only 24 were made, the Aston Martin Victor is a rare bird. When it comes to bragging rights, Victor wins everything, and given just how difficult it was for Aston Martin to produce, it's unlikely a car like this will ever be repeated. With the 7.3-litre naturally aspirated V12 pumping out a colossal 836 brake horsepower, a six-speed manual gearbox, a steroid or Grand Tourer body, and mechanical bits and pieces cherry-picked from both the 177 and the Vulcan, the one-off Victor is the modern era Aston Martin. Victor is both a glorious throwback and a contemporary hypercar. Best of all, there's literally nothing else like it. Its price starts at a whopping £2 million and only increases as the customizations increase. McLaren Sabre The good, it's a McLaren Sabre, which is pretty much what McLaren looks like when it's properly let off the leash. The bad, not only can you not afford it, but you'll also likely never even see one in real life. At this point, it's probably worth being a bit philosophical about the situation and accepting that some things aren't for everyone. In fact, there's only a select few. McLaren Special Operations built just 15 Sabres, all for customers in the United States of America, and each fitted with 830 horsepower's worth of twin-turbo 4-litre V8. So it is probably enough to maintain speed up a big hill without having to shift down. The Sabre's based on the McLaren Senna, but it's hardly a case of nip, tuck and tinsel. More than 70% of the Sabre's parts are unique, which leaves the basic platform, drivetrain and glasshouse. 
likely there to avoid having to homologate an entirely new car as much as the fact that the base car is already a track-ready monster. It was only available in the US market and was priced at $3,790,000 US dollars. It is truly a rare piece to own. Lycan Hypersport With only seven units in existence, the Lycan Hypersport is one of the most exclusive cars on the planet. If that is not enough, the Lycan features the world's first holographic mid-air display with interactive motion control and it has 440 diamonds lined in the LED headlights. Having a handcrafted carbon fibre body, the Lycan Hypersport has a timeless look and angular styling. Its patented reverse dihedral door system accentuates its lines, and the dynamic spoiler completes the exclusive design. The first unit of this hypercar, created by W Motors, catapulted the company to international stardom when it took centre stage in Universal Studios' Furious 7. It was featured as the hero car in the movie and is the most expensive car ever to be featured in the Fast and Furious franchise. At US $3.4 million, the Lycan Hypersport was the third most expensive production car at the time of its production. Well, that was it for this video. We hope you enjoyed looking at some of the most expensive machines on the planet. We'll see you at the next one.